this is Lana, the Queen of Medium, Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome. I am bringing you your finance and career for Scorpio. Just plain Scorpio. I do do cusps, you know that. Um, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, whatever I do. <coughs> please visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. Um... I've added some new things on there. If you're having a hard time, like maybe you have just one question, you can book just one question, like a 15 minute, it's, I think it's 30 bucks or something, 30, 35, something like that. Um, that way you don't, you know, if you have something quick you want to ask. Um, thank you for all of your well wishing. I had COVID. I'm three weeks in. I'm doing extremely well. Um, I started exercising again, so I'm like feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm... I, I get I got I get this thing from people and it makes me angry and I, if you were saw my podcast, um, you saw that there's people walking around going oh you must not have had the bad virus um yeah it was burning my lungs I mean what I hey you don't talk to somebody like that you should say you're great thank you thank God that you're better it, I wouldn't talk to somebody like that I just guess people are just being so insensitive right now I I don't know but anyway. Thank you for your well wishers. Um, it warmed my heart. I got people actually phoning me that know me now um, through my 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 YouTube and my my podcast because they you get to know me and I get to know you because I'm doing readings for you. It's like we become friends. So thank you. Um, please visit my metaphysical meanderings. It's blowing my mind right now. I had almost 500,000 people live watching last week. Um, we are on Apple Podcast. We are on Spotify. We are on a three di five different platforms now. Um, if anybody knows how to be a Girl Friday where you can do odds and ends for me to get from point A to point B, I need help. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I had no idea that this would do this. This would go like this. So... Um, which is really wonderful. I mean, I'm also on Patreon now. Um, I want to do this full time. I've not made much um, in anything. So a few readings in here and there, and that's it. But it's exploding. And um, if you'd like to help me, um, I do, I am going to, on Patreon, I'm going to be giving you like these huge coupons, like 50% off, all kinds of different things. So if you join, um, it's Lana's Enchanted Sky. Okay. Here's my joke of the day. It's really stale. It's bad. <laughs> hey, they're clean. You know, I could tell other jokes, but I'll be clean. Um, did you hear about the fact they're going to try to build a restaurant on the moon? It'll have great food, but it's going to have no atmosphere. <laughs> that made me laugh. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. Um, someone said I look better also, by the way. If you look back on some of my older um, videos, I was bright red. I really didn't have, I quit coughing about day 16. This is day 23. <clears throat> Every once in a while you hear me clear my throat's all, but I, it's a form of an allergy. But, um, and, uh, you can see I didn't, I didn't even realize it didn't feel well. I don't know if that makes sense because I had, I don't know, I, I was very fortunate. I'm very fortunate. We did lose a family member, um, a terminal family member. Um, it was horrible. Um, so it's nothing to joke about. So I have been blessed. So maybe that's, I'm supposed to be helping you. I don't know. So, okay. Now you're seeking this month, Scorpio, the happy family. You want to be the happily ever after. You've been disappointed and feeling left out in the cold about something. And it's all in your head, though. You have to understand when this is the querent. This is the question. It's crossing you. You're wanting your happy family. Now, when you see this card, it usually means you have a fear of, of being left out or fear of being down and out destitute, you know, left out in the cold, whatever. And it's all in your mind. And you are trying to get away from something. You're trying to have the happy ever after. Now, 
I do see a meeting coming. I do see you walking away. This easily could be a love reading, okay? For some of you other ones, this could be business. It could be, because I'll show you. Because remember, these readings can be, there's always two or three things going on in every one. So you have to understand that. Um, you're, there's a King of Cups involved in this whole thing, okay? The King of Cups also means a time of, of self-reflection, but this also means a person who is a water sign. Scorpio could be you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And they're telling you to be careful, be patient, wait something out, something's coming for you. And it's also telling you don't go overboard, stay grounded, all right? now. I have a King of Pentacles sitting here. This could be you. I mean, it could be. Um, this is not a water sign. This is Aquarius, Taurus, or Virgo. This Someone could be offering you some money. There could be, see, okay. There's an opportunity where, and you want to cut yourself free from something. There's something going on where you just want to cut yourself loose. Notice that this is all self-imposed. All the cards I'm pulling are self-imposed, and they're trying to tell you something. Okay, now they're telling you through the month of February to be strong. Now notice that 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 the the um, infinity signs up there. Be strong. You are getting a new start. Okay, and you are moving away from bad a bad situation or bad times. I feel like for some of you guys, that's a move. It's an actual physical move. I feel like for other people, they're walking out of a relationship or they're breaking up or there's something else. Remember, this is the year of change. I've said it 150 billion times that, that there's a lot of changes going on and there's a lot of changes going on in this year. As we get to the shots as we become more confident in the shots and we're going to start going back to normal more normal i guess it's not totally normal never will be totally the way it was before but it's going to speed up a little february march and april i feel like um you're going to see people out and about more there's a lot of change and everybody people that have called and i've probably done i've done a lot of readings did a lot lately. Anyway, um, and every single one of them have major changes and major things happening around May. Okay? So around May. And anyway, you have a meeting coming up. There, there, there's a situation around you where there's mutuality and you're getting a message of money. Okay, now I say, now, and, and there's something a little hidden, and it's very spiritual. Now I say, here in the United States, because I'm reading all over the world, there's money coming um, from the government. That last stimulus stuff is coming around the third week of February or so. I'm sometimes off in, frame, in, in time and frame, but I am I'm not too bad. Um, every once in a while, you know, anybody that knows how to do this, and I know a lot of you do, that time is fluid. It's hard sometimes to get time, okay? Um, I can do a give a general. I just know that there is more money coming. That's my point. Now, what you're wanting is somebody to bring you a cup of love. You want somebody to bring you love. And love, and there's money. But look at the money card. Okay, um, this card represents somebody bringing you something that you love a new home, um, a better place to live, catching up on your bills. I mean, it that's love because you can breathe. There's no anxieties going away. See, there, but someone is, your hopes, your wish, your fears, your dreams is what you want someone to bring you what you love to you. Now you are, this isn't, I, I don't want to say that you're completely orchestrating this, but you are making the decisions. It's interesting. You'd want somebody to bring it to you. Okay, um, now you're on your way to being really happy. You're on your way to being pretty happy. It's, it's coming, but you had to make those changes. Now, the Page of Cups is a message of 
of emotionality. Um, it's a young, youthful person. They, they can be gay because they're super creative, super quirky. Um, that's kind of what this card's about. But it also can be emotions, okay? So somebody else, this could be even a young person that's involved in all of this. I just know there's money coming. There's some type of money coming to you. Um, but yet, there's a relationship thing going on. So there's two things going on in this reading. Um, like I said, there's a mutuality. Could be a boss. Could be a love. I see love in here because they're looking for the happy family. Happily ever after, you're looking for it. Okay? But, you know, if you got the job, the dream, your dream job, wouldn't you be living happily ever after? Okay? So now, <clears throat> I've got a new deck of cards. And they are called the Eternal, Eternal Crystals Oracle Deck. I so far like them. They're very pretty. Um, I know you can't see, but I have a whole wall of crystals over here. It's why I sit here. I probably should, um, I do have a studio that I've developed. I just prefer to read here. It's comfortable to me. So be honest with yourself and others. You better be honest and, and really, what do you want? What do you, where are you going? You know, here's your direction. I told you that dip. I, I don't know this stone. I have to look this up. It's di diaptase. Diaptase. I've never seen it. I'll have to look that up. Um, never seen it before. Um, but it does tell you direction. You know which way you're going and <clears throat> hold true to it. You are. There's a new start. I, I, I think for a lot of people, they're just walking away. They're walking away from something and they just... Um, and it's going to release some positive energy towards you, okay? Sel selenite's peaceful, peace. Cut yourself loose, keep, stay peaceful, okay? They're trying to tell you to ignite your passion. So maybe this is a job where you, you know, you're going forward. Maybe you're sick and tired of your relationship and you just need something. You need to get your passion back, Okay? Now, there's good luck involved, and I've been pulling, and as much as I shuffle these cards, I still keep getting good luck for a lot of people. The Jade is a really good luck card, um, look, good luck stone. Um, there's a little bit of luck, and, and when people think that it looks lucky, it's not. It, it's either coming from the other side, or you have manifested it, quote, un aligned it. I don't say manifest, I say aligned. You've made it happen. You make your own luck. You know, you do get some help from the other side, but it's a combination of intent and, okay? Your family. I just saw the happy family card. <laughs> your family's really, really important this month. There's things going on, making your family's happy, making your family happy. Um, there's, you know, like I said, this is the happily ever after. They always call it the happy family card. Everybody's joyous. You're wanting that this month. And by making the decisions that you need to make, that's what you're seeking. And it does look like you're on your way to success. Okay? Blessings to all you. And uh, I will be bringing back love and relationship. And then I'm starting to do just cusps once a week. I'm really, really busy, guys. 500,000 people are watching me on my on my podcast. So join me at 216thenet.com. Um, this week, I am discussing spiritual ways of controlling anxiety, and I'm interviewing a shaman from Arizona who's a good friend. So blessings to all of you.